cards. Today, I will be showing you guys my all of my TTM returns I've gotten for the past couple of weeks. Uh, if you don't know what a TTM is, it's a through the mail autograph. Uh, TTM standing for through the mail. Uh, but anyway, I sent a ton of cards out to former players, mostly from the 60s and 70s. And I got them signed a couple of... I got a ball signed also and a couple of index cards. Before we get into this video, go check out Sterling Sports Auctions, the sponsor of this video and this channel. Uh, there is an auction going on right now. I'm, it's going to be ending in two days, so definitely go check it out. Some of the bigger cards on there is a 52, uh, or actually a 51 Bowman Mickey Mantle, and that's just one of them. So that's probably the biggest card on there. So go check that out. Uh, very good auction, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys. Uh, so, before we get right into this, um, just have a couple of announcements. Once we hit 300 subscribers, I will be giving you away this 1976 OPG Lou Brock. It's graded at an 8 by SGC. Uh, very nice card. So, get us to get me to uh, 300 subscribers, and I'll be giving this away to you guys. Anyway, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. And let's get right into this. All right. So, here are the first couple of cards. So, uh, sent some out to Bill Lee. He inscribed it, Bill Spaceman Lee. And also, he inscribed the 75 Tops Mini um, 30, 73 All Star. So, pretty nice cards. Uh, this is a really nice looking card. And, of course, the Mini. Um, next we have Mr. Tim Cullen uh, so this is 1969 tops and this is 1970 tops he did not inscribe I don't know if I asked him to I'm pretty sure I, I didn't but yeah nice cards nice signature got that one back quick after that we got John Hiller he also didn't inscribe uh, another one that's 1969-1970. Got this one back very quick, too. Um, yeah. Next, we got two of Larry Lintz. He has a very nice signature. Um, I don't really like sending this uh, cards that already have, like, the manufacturer's signature on it out, but it's whatever. That's his real signature right there. Um, so, 1975 tops and a 19... 74 tops there. Next up, we got Eddie Fisher. He inscribed 1965 All-Star. This is a 1969 tops card. Uh, nice card. Got this one back quick, too. Thank everybody that I have here. All returned in, like, 15 or less days, which is pretty surprising. Uh, next up... It's not actually all the cards that I got signed by him, but this is Frank Tanana. Um, I also had a 1974, which is his rookie card. This is a 1976, and this is a 1977. Um, uh, so I sent that 1974 out to another player on his rookie card to get signed as well. After him, we got Gary Nolan. Uh, oops. Uh, 1971 and the 1974 nice cards he came back quick as long as, as well as everybody else next one is a card and an index card of Al Weiss he signed the card with 1969 Miracle Mets which is really cool and his signature of course and this one he signed um, Al Weiss and his number and 1969 Mets World Champs. After that, probably my favorite one. This is probably my favorite one. Um, Bobby Shantz. He is the oldest living MVP. As you can see, this is 1975 MVP card. Uh, he won the MVP in 1951, I believe. And this is the index card that he sent back. It says, there's a signature... 1952, oh, he won it in 1952. 1952 AL MVP, 
Um, won 24 games, lost 7, 27 complete games. Next up are actually uh, second to last. We've got George Culver. He sent back. I sent three cards. He sent me back three cards. Um, if you don't know who George Culver is, or actually, send him three. I sent him three cards, and he sent me back seven, which I'll show you in a, in a second. So he's, these are the three I sent him. He signed every one. Uh, and on the 1969 card, he signed George Culver. You can probably see it there. 7, 29, 1968. No-hitter, because he threw a no-hitter, which is pretty impressive. And then he also sent back... He sent me these, which I did not send him. And they're all signed. I just got to give them. He sent me these, which is pretty cool. So this is obviously his rookie card right there, his signature. And then this is... Uh, 1974 and as you can see they're like big cards they're like kind of like postcards they're on the back i mean this one has a back but this one doesn't still pretty cool thank you george culver also i wrote him a little note and i asked him uh did you ever pitch against Harmon? because i asked um i told him that he was Harmon killer is my favorite player and i said did you ever face him and he said I faced him one time in 1967 and lucky to strike him out. So thank you, George Culver. That was very cool. And the last one is not actually a card or an index card or one of those giant cards like George Culver. It is actually a ball signed. And if you don't know who this is, you probably will want to tell you his name. This is Rob Manfred. If you don't know who that is, look at that. Commissioner of Baseball. So, if you really want to get one of these balls, really easy. You just send it to his, just send him a handwritten letter. Don't have to pay him anything. And it'll send you back this. Free signed ball by him. I thought that was really cool. My friend told me about it uh, down at Pure Collector. Go check out his channel. I'll be, uh, I'll put his link in the description. Also, check out Frank T. Uh, Frank M. T. T. M. Uh, he pretty much told me. Well, he didn't tell me, but I watched his videos, and all these people pretty much are the same people he got signed. And so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I have a ton of more T. T. M.s coming back, which I'll show you in a future video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.